want you to make sure you're thinking about the goals, but don't overwhelm yourself with too many. Too many. Um, we're trying to really help you be simplified in this process. So pick one or two goals that are the most important to you right now and pursue them with a vengeance. Make sure, though, they are SMART goals. So SMART goals would be something that is specific. Um, this is kind of the what, where, when, and how. So, for instance, say you want to purchase a car, you want to determine what car, um, where you plan to buy it from, when you want to buy it, and how much um, you're going to have to pay to purchase it. Um, make sure that you're able to um, measure your progress. You know, maybe open up a separate savings account and have a direct deposit into that savings um, with every paycheck the amount that you need to achieve the goal by the time you want to buy the car. Uh, make sure it's attainable. Um, it should be challenging, but not impossible. I mean, don't get frustrated that you can't achieve it by making it too um, too hard to achieve. So let's just to say you're you're getting ready to purchase that car, and, and your goal is to have 10% down on your $20,000 car purchase. So you're going to need $2,000 um, by the time you're ready to um, to make that purchase. Also, be sure they're realistic. Um, it's something that that matters that you're able to accomplish. Um, you know, if this is something that does matter to you and if you're willing to put in the effort to achieve the goal, again, you're going to be successful. So, you know, the reason that this is realistic for a car, you know, this car purchase maybe is you never had a car, you never owned one, or, you know, maybe you're new and younger, um, or maybe your car is really old. Um, you know, like our family, we have one really old car and um, my husband drives it back and forth to work and it's still ticket, but we are going to need to replace it. So um, that is going to be one of our 2021 goals. And then also make sure that you're, um, you know, setting a realistic time frame. You know, if you want to do this in 10 months, you're going to need to set aside your $200 a month for your $2,000 goal. Um, you'll need to determine if that's too much um, for your budget. And if the $200 does not work, you may need to adjust the time frame. Um, or adjust the amount that you're going to put down, or maybe adjust some of your spending so you can save more money. Mm -hmm.